the only way to enhance one's power in the world is by increasing one's integrity and capacity for compassion. Power serves others, whereas force is self-serving. True statesmen serve the people. Politicians exploit people to serve their own ambitions. Statesmen sacrifice themselves to serve others. Politicians sacrifice others to serve themselves. David R. Hawkins from the book Power Versus Force. I'm Stephen Middleton coming to you from the Possibility Action Network. Our core values include I am, I can, and I will. I am Possibility Man. Today I want to share on the theme the power of a made up mind. Now, when we think about power, most people confuse power with force. They think that if an individual is powerful, it means that an individual has the strength of muscular power, that an individual has the strength of will. Some people equate power with the capacity to be influential. The number of individuals they could intimidate to do something, they would equate that with power. I've been talking about power for the last few shares, and whenever I invoke the word power, I am not talking about the force of one's will. I'm not really talking about the force of one's muscles or the power of a country for that matter. When I'm talking about power in the way that I'm talking about power now, I'm referring power as an invisible force. We can equate it to power as being a force that one could use in a laboratory and put certain compounds together and create something else. Or one, if you are a baker or a cook, can do it in your kitchen when you put certain things together to create something else. I'm referring to power as some type of spiritual force, something invisible, something that you cannot see, but you can see, cannot see, but you can make it up. You can actually put it together in the laboratory of our minds. Everyone mixes what they want in the mind. If an individual says, you know, uh, I can't exercise today because it's drizzling. It's not cold, but it's drizzling outside. So I'm not going to go for a walk. I'm not going to ride my bicycle. That's a mind made up power. It's made up in the mind, an individual could very easily say, you know, I'm going to ride my stationary bike indoors if the rain is more than I want to endure today. It's a decision that's made up in the mind. Everyone is faced with making something up in their mind, something that takes them forward or something that holds them back. It's all created by this invisible force, this call for the spiritual force that happens inside of an individual's mind. It's impossible to go through life without making up stuff in your mind. It's just the way of it. It's just the way that it is. For example, if an individual then enrolls in college, you know, let's say in the fall, it would take four years for them to complete a college education. Whether they graduate or not depends on whether they made it up in their minds that they would stay in school, that they would graduate, and that they would earn their, their degrees. And you can apply that to everything else in life. 
If you decide, for example, that you're going to run for political office and it doesn't matter whether you win or not, the, the decision to do so has to be made up in your mind. If you decide to start a business, the decision to start it or not start one is all made up in the mind. If you're going to invent something, if you're going to start you know, a, a new movement routine, it's all made up in the mind. You know, I had the experience this morning. I got on my bike around 7 o'clock this morning and pedaling away. The first thing I had to do, though, is to realize that I had made a decision in my mind that I was going to exercise. I didn't make the decision up this morning. I made the decision up a long time ago that I would move my body. And I was pedaling away on my bike. You know, after about 30 minutes, I had the thought, well, you've done enough. Why don't you get off your bike? I heard that suggestion, but I had made up my mind that I was going to ride for at least 50 minutes this morning. It's all made up in the mind, and that's the power that I want to remind you of today. Whether you have or whether you have not, it's based upon a decision that's made up in the mind. When you make up a decision in the mind, you are unleashing a spiritual force that allows you to say that I will or I won't. It's all made up in the mind. Exercise is one of the things that I've made up in my mind. Now you may say, well, Milton, you know, you're a big, strong guy. You know, what's the big deal about exercising? Well, you know, there's some other issues here that I'm not going to get into right now about exercising, about me exercising. I can come up with a lot of reasons, and a lot of folks would support me in those reasons as well. I made up in my mind, I had been doing research on a, on a, on a topic that I wanted to write another book about, uh, this particular individual, and I have made up in my mind something about that subject. That is, I'm going to write something about this subject every day. That's a decision that I made up in my mind. My question to you, then, is simply this. What have you made up in your mind about what you want? Have you made up your mind that you're, you know, you're my age and you've decided, okay, I'm going to sit on my rocker until the grim reaper comes? Well, that's okay. That's fine, too. We can make that decision up in our minds. Someone may say, you know something, I want to earn more money because I want to be able to take my grandchildren on vacations. I want to take them to Disney World. And I don't want to have to worry about well, how I can pay my bills next month. That's something that you can make up in your mind. You know, if you want to start a business online, the question is, okay, how many people are you going to talk to a day? And I'm talking to myself as well, because I do business online. You, you, you may have to say, well, I'm going to reach out to five people a day, whatever the number is for you, 10 people, whatever the number is for you. It's a decision that you can make up in your mind. And I am here to tell you that there is power in a made up mind. It's just like going into a laboratory and putting some compounds together and something else comes out of it. Everything that you see in our world, just take a look, go anywhere. Every building, every skyscraper, every vehicle that's on the highways today, no matter where you go in this country, in our world, you'll find that it was made up in somebody's mind. And if you make it up in your mind, that's power. And the power, once again, is not force, it's a spiritual power. It's a power that's connected to all that is. And it is waiting for us to use it. I'm Stephen Middleton, coming to you from the Possibility Action Network. Our core values include, I am, I can, and I will. I am Possibility Man. Until next time, good day.